hello everyone welcome back to a studio here we discuss about machine learning based projects and multiple nlp and ai based applications which can be used for real world environment okay so having said that today we are going to have a discussion about how you can develop an ad description for social media and e-commerce with the help of gpt3 as you well know if you have seen my previous videos gpt3 is a platform that is developed by openai and currently it is one of the best platforms for developing applications related to nlp having said that let's open open ai playground where we can see what we are talking about okay so i have opened beta.openai.com slash playground which is uh, uh, which is a web page where you can see how you can develop different multiple applications okay so for today what we have in mind is we want to develop an ad for facebook let's suppose so i have already written a tagline for that let's paste the tagline which we will say that is the prompt of the application okay so let's read it once it is saying that write a creative ad for following product to run on Facebook aimed at parents okay so what is the product learning room is a virtual environment to help students from kindergarten to high school excel in school okay so learn it the product is learning room whose objective is to create a virtual and environment for students from kindergarten to high school so the next thing is that it is written by learning room and they want an ad for Facebook which will be aimed at parents so what we will do next is we will just submit it before submitting it I'll show you some of the parameters that I have decided for this application the first thing temperature which is how many risks uh, should our model take I have given it to 0 0.5 because for block creation it should be uh, more than that and for uh, something like question answering it should be lesser than that but for something like this your creativity should be in mi somewhere middle ground okay so other than temperature the engine that we will be using is text da Vinci which is uh, uh, you know the best engine of gpt3 i have multiple fine-tuned engines also but i am not going to use them i am going to use text davinci 002 other than that the maximum length i have taken it to be uh, 60 tokens if we are going for a blog we can take it to somewhere like 256 or even we can take it to somewhere like 2000 or 4000 as you can see on the screen when I have put my cursor here other than that you can also see that one English text is uh, you know equal to one fourth of a token so each token has four English characters so if I write 60 here then you should multiply it by four and that is the maximum length of characters that you can get from 60 tokens other than that we do not need stop sequence in this particular case other than that our top P which tells us how much likelihood there is to diversify the system we have taken it to maximum level so it is also between 0 and 1 uh, but where we want to diversify it as much as possible so that's why we have taken it to maximum level frequency penalty tells us uh, the frequency of each uh, word uh, before in this paragraph so we have very less number of tokens so that's why we are not giving it any penalty if there is a repetition uh, so for ads there can be a repetition like Facebook can be used two times social media can be used two times so uh, uh, I do not think this is a problem for us frequency and presence penalty should not be given in this application 
okay so i have i am only going to predict one result if you want you can take three and uh, get one out of them the best one and uh, but that way you will be using your open ai uh, you know key balance a lot okay so this is the tagline and this is the product now let's submit it and let's see what is the result that we get okay so let's see here it is saying that welcome to learning room we are excited to offer a virtual environment that will help this our program offers a variety of features that will make learning more fun and engaging we also offer a variety of so something like that so you can make it more better for yourself by submitting it again or by increasing the temperature so there is something that can be done here to make its performance even better okay so the next thing is we want to see that how we can use this and how we can compute this inside python so that we can uh, use that api for any application so let's get an, into it to see how we can use this inside a python program okay so the first thing that we need is of course we need to install open ai so to do that we will write exclamation mark pip install open ai and then exclamation mark pip install gradio so we are going to use gradio to show us our application and we can also later use that for our personal web page other than that what we need to import is open ai import os and then import gradio as gr okay so after that we are going to run these three commands it is taking some time okay so it is done now after that we what we need is open ai api key so where will you get that key if you have uh, logged into your open ai playground so you can just click here and you can view your api key let's open it another tab and there we go this is your secret key which you should not tell anyone for us it is our sample key and we can always create another one so that's why i have shown you this key okay so after this the next step is to use this uh, key for creating this result so what you need to do is you need to come on this playground where you have generated this result and you need to view code once you view your code you will see that what is required here so let's copy this and let's just paste it here so we have already imported os and open ai so we are going to delete that we have already given open ai api key we are going to delete that and other than that what we want here is we want to get our query out so other than that all of these parameters are the same that we discussed here so and the values of those parameters is also same because it is what is present in the view code section so what we need to do here right now is write query is equal to and all of this let me just like this let's just paste it first and then say that it is curie so after that just delete it and so this was a problem before too just 
delete all of this and say prompt is equal to query so that way you can change the query without changing the prompt again and again like this q u e r y okay so let's run this so uh, the command that we are using here is open ai dot completion dot create what it does is it creates a response from the query that we have given it so we are giving it a query and that query will be given into prompt and then the prompt will generate a response from open ai with the help of this command open ai dot completion dot create so uh, we have not done anything uh, you know out of the blue here we have just uh, copy pasted the command that was given in the open ai playground okay so let's run this this is the key part this is the query part and now let's generate it okay so now a response is generating okay so something is present now in the variable response let's see what this is there we go this is the result that we are getting in our response variable but as you can see there is a complete dictionary that is present here there is not the one answer so where is our answer our answer is present here in text how can we get that how can we get that text so let's see in this complete dictionary the first index is choices so let's just print response and then choices here let's see what it gives us there we go so this is what we get we are getting all of these things we are getting a json in which there is finish reason index log props and then text but there is something important here that all of this is present inside a square bracket which means that there is an array in which this whole dictionary is present whose first index is this one and then it goes into this okay so to get more into this what we will do is we will go into zeroth index okay so there we go this is what we get in the zeroth index as you can see this part is now gone so now we have only this part here so now to get out the answer we just need to select which part has the answer so the answer is present in text let's just copy this and then paste it here and just write text here so this is the text this is the result that we got from here and this is same uh, and, and this is not the same as the result that we got from here because gpt3 gives uh, a different result every time but we can uh, change that result however we want to okay so this is how you can create an ad description or a product description for social media applications or for e-commerce applications okay so uh, to show you a little bit about how you can use it for something like Gradio in which you can later use that to create your own applications or you can at least use it to show it as an interface so to do that the first thing you need to do is you need to
डिफाइन अ फंक्शन कॉल्ड ग्रीट ओके सो इन ग्रीट व्हाट वी विल इनपुट इज वी विल इनपुट द क्यूरी इनटू दैट सो इट इज द सेम क्यूरी दैट वाज फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस्ड हियर लेट्स जस्ट कॉपी दैट क्यूरी अगेन and just paste it somewhere like this so that we can change it according to our expectations anyways so let's delete it and let's make it again somewhere like in the below cells okay so define greet and what we have as an input is query so query will be given to the prompt so what we need here is we need to create a response and then see what that response gives us so to do that the first thing we need is this response we will copy this and we will paste the whole response here so let's fix the intent part so just bear with me okay so we have entered the response part now let's just uh, go further and enter the answer part as well okay so after the response what our answer is the response choice is zero text so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this part and we are going to write another variable answer and then we are going to write response choices zero text so whatever we get as an input after that we will check this response okay so let's write return answer as the last thing okay so we will get a query that query will be passed into this function and a response will be generated out of that response we will take out the choices zero and text and then it will be given into the answer and there we go that's how it works so uh, for gradio interface how this works is we need to write fn is equal to the function that we want it to be so the function is greet we will write fn is equal to greet other than that what will be our input and what will be our output our input will be whatever variable this is so query is our input and our answer will be whatever variable this is so this will be our output answer will be our output so this is how it works let's see what response does this gives us okay so it is giving us this as a query and it is asking us that we should write something here let's suppose we write write uh, and add Facebook ad for the following company and after that for the following company and let's suppose for the following product and after that we write product here let's enter 
first we write product here and we say that product new hairliner I'm sorry I don't remember the spelling of hairliner so let's see them or oh, let's new hw yeah we can say that hw creates word best nail polishes for females and they those nail polishes are also organic okay so let's see what open a makes of this and if this works or not okay so before that let me just see one thing yeah 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 this is it okay so let's submit it and let's see there are 60 tokens and what we get there we go this is the ad that we generated with the help of gpt3 looking for the best nail polishes around look no further than hw our nail polishes are organic and specifically designed for females plus they are the best in the world so it has created a very specific set of uh, you know uh, try, uh, words from the th th things that we gave it so we can increase the tokens here or we can also do something like for example let's take more chances here and let's just say that the maximum tokens are 160 and let's see if this changes our actual results okay so but i do not remember now what i wrote last time <laughs> that is going to be a problem uh, okay right a uh, product write a facebook ad i think it was a facebook ad for the following product and the product was hw creates best nail polishes for females which are also organic let's just copy this time so that we can use it again next time okay so let's submit it there we go uh, and do not damage our nails okay so it is just completing this part we should have entered a dot full stop at the end are you searching for the best organic nail polish for females look no for the okay so it is you know changing a little bit and taking it to next level right here so it is saying words such as are carefully crafted to be the best quality and also organic you will love our products so it is taking more risks right here okay so this is how it is get getting more into a creative mindset so we can increase tokens a little bit more let's just say that the tokens are somewhere like 260 and let's give it a frequency and presence penalty as well so that it won't repeat the same words so let's try it once again and I hope that we have copied it.
okay so let's see what the results are yeah so we have a little bit of different response due to penalties changing so this is how you can use simple gpt3 to create different ads okay so to take it a step further what we can do is we can make these as variables and we can show them right here with the help of something like streamlit or flask we will get more into that part in the next videos in and in the next tutorials but for right now uh, this is uh, it for today i hope you like the video and if you uh, want to learn more about uh, gpt3 or machine learning or something like freelancing please subscribe to my channel because i post videos weekly thank you very much i hope to see you soon and don't forget to like and subscribe